All right, so the first one I want to talk about in this rotation that I've had lately is my Stone Dex Indica Mold right here. And I did a whole video on this one. It's really cool. I didn't think I'd had this one set up for so long. I set it up, just kind of think it'd be for the video, maybe I messed around with it, and then eventually kind of, you know, use the trucks on something else. But it's one of these decks that I haven't been able to put down. Uh, I'll always kind of pick it up and I'll just enjoy using it. It's like just the right amount of challenging for me, I feel like. Um, I talk about in the video how I like the long wheelbase and uh, it's got super shallow kit, like super low kick, super shallow concave, but because of that low, um, because of that long wheelbase, it's just super fun to use. So uh, I still got it set up. I got 32 millimeter dynamic trucks on here and then abstract street slim wheels. So it's a 34 millimeter deck, so I have like a little bit of overhang with the trucks, but I like that on all my decks. In my opinion, it makes them easier to flip and uh, it was kind of something I prefer with my setup. So there's my uh, Stone Dex Indica Mold. And this is one that I got at an event at the beginning of the summer. This is a Berlin Wood, uh, just regular 33.3, just the regular, um, you know, their normal shape or whatever, but it's um, 33.6 millimeters wide, I believe. And then I have 32 millimeter Black River trucks, uh, white, Tropics bushings and then abstract street slim wheels on this one as well and um, The tape is um, FBS when I first got it it kind of took me a while to like break it in or kind of get used to it But after a while I really really kind of got used to this deck. I took it on a vacation I really started to enjoy the way it felt and just kind of once it broke in just really liked it It's a really tried and true deck. I feel like so um, for a while I was using like a 7-ply Black River Berlin Wood setup, but now I kind of feel like I like the regular 5-ply a little bit more. I don't know, I go back and forth a little bit. Um, it seems like this deck is a little bit thicker than my other 5-ply Berlin Wood, so I'm not sure maybe that has something to do with it, but um, either way, this deck's really nice. I do like it a lot. I'm definitely going to keep it set up for a while, and uh, if you're thinking about trying a Berlin Wood, I definitely recommend them. So this is my 30 millimeter balcony right here, and the... The concave is Penthouse, and then the shape is Jake Hucka. So this is a really fun deck. It's 30 millimeters, and then I have 29 millimeter Black River trucks and abstract street slim wheels with some purple lightwork bushings and then FBS tape on top. This one's super, super fun, very realistic feeling in my opinion. The wheelbase does feel a little bit short compared to my other decks, which makes it a little more challenging for me. But still, it's a super fun one to use. When it comes to like skinnier decks or like anything around like, you know, 29 or 30, I definitely prefer prefer the 30 just because I have a little bit of the overhang uh, with the deck and the trucks. I kind of prefer that again. And um, it just makes it easier to flip, I feel like. And um, yeah, I like this one a lot. It's super, super realistic feeling and looking. I love how balcony decks wear too. It's like very realistic. Just a uh, super fun deck to use and just to look at, uh, to use in videos. If you're thinking about trying Balcony, again, you definitely should. They're an awesome brand. They make super high quality products and other decks are definitely some of my favorites. So we're talking about one more Balcony here and this is my Balcony 7 ply. Now this one is a popsicle shape and then penthouse concave. So I prefer Balcony's penthouse concave because the kicks are just a little bit higher. They're kind of like a medium high. And then I got this one in the popsicle, which um, the Jake Hucka has a little bit more of a squared out nose. And this one's the popsicle, so it's more more just rounded at the nose. And I got this one in 33 millimeters. So it's a 33 millimeter deck with 32 millimeter trucks. And in my opinion, that one millimeter overhang is absolutely perfect. I uh, kind of had it custom made kind of for me. If you want something made just like this, you kind of got to message him and ask for it. I don't think he offers 33s on the website. Um, then I, again, I got it made in the 7-ply as well because I like a kind of a heavier fingerboard. And I like how on his 7-plies he uses kind of a thinner veneer. So it's a 7-ply deck, but it's not like overly thick. It kind of looks just like any other deck would. Um, it's maybe like, I don't know, 10 or 15% thicker where a lot of 7-ply decks are like 30 to 50% thicker. So it just got a nice like look to it. Again, it's got that beautiful balcony graphic on there which is wearing very, very nicely. Very realistic, got a bunch of stickers on there too. And this one has some light work, purple bushings as well. And then again, my favorite abstract street slim wheels. They're just my favorite. These, this pair I've actually had for I think the longest. It's a little more rocky feeling or a little more rough feeling when you roll, but they still 
feel great, and I just kind of don't want to switch them up because this deck feel, feels so good. The grip tape on top, I believe, is FBS. I switched this one out a couple times, so I kind of forget, but usually FBS is my go-to. If you're thinking about trying a Balcony, definitely highly recommend them. They're one of my favorite decks out there. Very, very high quality. Again, I know I just said that in the last one, but I have two of them set up right now that I ride regularly, so I think that kind of says a lot. It speaks a lot to the brand. They offer a wide variety of shapes and concaves and all that stuff, so you can kind of find something that's just right for you and uh, definitely check them out. All right, last up in this kind of rotation of the decks I've been using for the past couple weeks, and this is my Worm deck. This one's a newer one. I just got it a couple weeks ago when I got back from vacation, and I've been using it since then. So I'm kind of gonna give you a quick overview of kind of what I think about it now. So this is Worm's new mold right here, and I got this one set up. I got this one in a 32 millimeter. It's set up with 32 millimeter Black River trucks, abstract street slim wheels, this time in tan. I uh, got some light work green bushings on there, and then I have the Anxiety Offline Star Tape. You can kind of see the star. I was really excited to try this one out. I like Worm a lot as a company. I like trying out their products. Um, their last mold, I, I liked it a lot. It was just a little bit mellow for me. So when he said he was introducing a new one that was a little more, a little more concave, a little bit higher kicks, so I was definitely excited to try it out. And I got to say, it did not disappoint. This thing's really, really awesome. It's got a paper graphic, which does look really cool. He applied it really well. It feels like it's part of that bottom veneer. Um, you can't really tell it's paper at all unless you kind of really look at it or kind of know what you're looking for. But um, the way he kind of has it, has it adhere to the veneer looks like really, really nice. And then it's a little bit of a thicker deck. The veneers, the veneers overall are a little bit thicker. So uh, that's one thing I kind of noticed. And then the new mold does feel like a little bit longer. So at least in comparison to some of my other fingerboards, it definitely is a little bit longer, maybe like a quarter inch or so than my balcony. Um, even my Berlin wood too, which is pretty a long, which is a pretty long one. It's a little bit longer than that. So uh, one nice thing though is it's got a nice long wheelbase. So I feel like with this deck, I can just pop it super, super high, do high kick flips, high ollies, but have lots of control as well. The tail and nose is like a little bit square, but not overly, it still has like a nice true popsicle shape. And overall, it's a really fun deck to mess around with. Did not disappoint at all. Definitely glad I have it in the collection. It's a really fun deck overall, and that's definitely gonna stay in the rotation for a while.